Hey guys, this is Kerbal Essences and welcome to Kerbal News featuring the upcoming Falcon 9 launch. Falcon will carry two communication satellites, the Mexican Utilsat 115 West B and the Chinese ABS 3A. Falcon will launch on Sunday evening from Cape Canaveral in Florida, heading for a geostationary transfer orbit. This time the Falcon booster stage won't be equipped with landing legs and will therefore not attempt to land on a drone ship. The reason for this is to leave more weight capacity for the payload. Both Utilsat and ABS are based on the Boeing 702SP satellite, which has four electric ion drives and up to four parabolic antennas. Such antennas, however, differ from regular ones on roofs. While a regular parabolic dish would simply focus the signal on a certain spot, the reflector on the satellite has a slight irregular shape, which distributes the signal in such a fashion. Like this, as much signal energy as possible is focused on the area where it is needed, instead of being wasted over the ocean. Reaching the highest point of their trajectory, the satellites will begin their program to circularize their orbit and reach the correct destination. This process will take several months and round trips around our planet because of the highly efficient but low thrust engines. The final orbit is called geostationary because their orbital period matches the Earth's spin, which makes the satellite stay stationary over a certain area. It lies round about 36,000 km away, which is roughly 10% the distance to our moon. Utilsat will place itself minus 115 degrees longitude over America, while ABS heads for minus 5 degrees over Africa. In case you confuse longitude and latitude, longitude degrees are along the equator, while latitude are lateral to it. Okay, that's it for this episode and I hope to see you in the next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.